हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सात्विक जैन फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स ब्रांच वेलकम टू आवर फाइनल वीडियो प्रेजेंटेशन एंड आई प्रेजेंट बिफोर यू टीम फोबी आउट हाय ऑल माय नेम इज दृष्टि गोयल एंड माय ब्रांच इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज प्रथम पालियोल एंड आई एम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर ब्रांच हेलो एवरीवन आई एम करण जैन फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स ब्रांच हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज तन्वी चोपड़ा I'm a student of electronics and computer engineering and a member of team Phobia Out. Now telling you a little bit about our project. Therapists all over the world have tried to cure phobias and fears in their patients using a wide variety of techniques. Allowing patients to face their fears has been a proven way to cure phobias. This technique although can be a little dangerous considering any actual physical harm can further deteriorate the patient's condition. Now using virtual reality we can offer a safe solution for therapists to cure patients of their phobias without putting them at risk. Hence we introduce our project Phobia Out. Our project aims to provide a safe solution for people suffering from a phobia to overcome their fear. We have so far developed three scapes for the same which are for fear of darkness, fear of heights and fear of public speaking. For use on a basic VR device, we have developed a product that can provide satisfactory scenarios to emulate real-life environments. On opening up the application, we will be greeted with the main menu, which will have three options: select phobia, settings, and exit. On clicking on the select phobia option, we will be directed to a new page, which will give us all the options of these caves that we have developed. Now, as you can see. it will have an effect that uh, we are surrounded by these options and we can move our head uh, in the vr and look at all the options available as you choose the fear of heights you will be shown this menu where you can select the number of planks you want to jump and then start playing the game so the main purpose of the player in this game is to walk and jump across the planks that are placed on rooftops of skyline buildings This is done so that the person can actually face their fear of heights. The realism in this game is also enhanced by the constant helicopter noises as well as visuals of rooftops. And if they make a wrong move, they fall over and have to restart the game all over again. So this is fear of public speaking. As you can see on the screen, there is a menu and on menu there are two options: play and main menu. After clicking the play menu you can see an auditorium full of people in this auditorium you have to stand on the stage and speak in front of this audience in the audience we have added natural simulations of raising hands coughing a little bit of noises among the people and all over 360 degree viewing camera so we can uh, view around the auditorium now standing on the stage and viewing the audience in front of them you can overcome your fear of public speaking via this simulation The third scape that we have built is to overcome the fear of darkness. The objective of this game is to find a certain number of keys within a limited amount of time before the room completely goes dark. When you click on the play button, you are taken inside a dark room. You can easily navigate through the room with your mouse to see a real life-like setup. This is also interactive as you can open doors, open cabinets, etc. with just a simple click. This virtual environment certainly gives the illusion that you yourself are in that room trying to find the keys with the clock ticking. Being in this environment for a considerable amount of time will certainly help people overcome their fear of darkness. We have designed this in the format of a game so that patients have an objective to complete and the process of facing their fears becomes more enjoyable and engaging. Working and developing this prototype was truly self-rewarding. knowing that this can be used for humanity's greater good is something to feel noble about we were able to consolidate everything that we have learned so far along with new technologies on a vast platform we used critical thinking to find innovative solutions to our problem statement designing and implementing this project was a challenging task learning new technologies finding efficient solutions to everything and finally debugging and testing everything Despite all of this we were able to develop three scapes to overcome the fears of darkness fear of heights and fear of public speaking all in all it was an enriching and learning experience for us